Today, I'm testing out a new GoPro camera. I recently bought the Hero 12, and I'm gonna compare it with the Hero 9 that I've previously been using. So here's my chest mount setup. I've got it on a parallel bar, and the Hero 12 is on the left side, and the Hero 9 is on the right side. And so they're set up with both of the cameras have exactly the same settings, so I can do a relevant side-by-side -side comparison. So let's go ride and check it out. So I'm just riding along the rim here of the Colorado River on the Mary's Trail. The idea is to... A lot of the rides I do are very cinematic. And uh, so I like the wide angle. So you can see so much more of the views. But the most important thing to me for an action camera is the quality of the stabilization. So that was the thing with the Hero 9, is with maximum stabilization, you only had 2.7K resolution. And now they say with the Hero 12 that you can have 4K with maximum stabilization. And they've tuned in their lens mod. I should have pointed out, both cameras have the lens mod on it. It's kind of like that fish eye lens that gives you the wider angle. And so that's what I was trying to check out was, first of all, that the improvement of the 4K, what, what that does for the resolution and granularity and the ability to, to do the digital after post-editing zoom on very cool features. Sometimes I point them out and zoom into them uh, in post-editing. But the other thing is the Hero 12 has two wide angle settings. One they call Super View and one they call Hyper View. And so I wanted to try that out. So I think I'll actually stop and change the settings. Okay, now the Hero 12 on the left has the Max Hyper View setting. And I wanted to just see what it does at the corners of the images, corners of corners of the video screen. Whether you use that or whether it's too distorted because sometimes that's what happens with the fish angle, fish eye view. How scenic that is. Okay, now I'll put the Hero 12 back into Max Super View. Just because I think that's the probably the proper setting. The other thing is I'm shooting both cameras in 30 frames per second. And all the ProTune settings are both the same. I will show you how I've set them. I guess the other thing is that I noticed that about 20% of my viewers watch the video on their TV. So the 4K is really gonna show up. But if you watch it on your phone or your computer, maybe not so much. And here we are, back to the bottom of Mary's Trail. 